now. We're going to select the first layer in my layer panel from the drop down that's right next to it. We're going to choose, actually, let me move that so you can see um, the options better. You're going to choose release to layer sequence. This one, you're going to choose that. Now, you're going to click on the layer number two, hold the shift key, click on layer number four, grab this and move it above the layer. So everything is now in the same hierarchy, okay? Now we're gonna save this file. These steps are actually very, very important. So please make sure to take your time to uh, follow them thoroughly. So once we have... Now I'm gonna open up After Effects. Um, Position, tracing. Uh, I'm gonna save this into the same folder that I have created for my tracing. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Um, you should paste the name on the project that you're working on. Project 01 round one. So this way. Uh, if you have to go back and make edits, uh, you basically have a copy of each of the rounds that you're working on. I'm gonna import um, file and I will use the tracing and you wanna make sure to change this to composition retain size and bring it in. And when you double click the um, composition, you'll see that each of the layers are uh, basically imported as their own individual, um, individually. So I'm gonna actually now, uh, we're gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna click on these three layers and convert them to um, shape layers. So I'm gonna click on the first layer, hold the shift key, click on the last layer, and choose layer um, create shape from vector layer. Now you'll see that um, basically all my illustrator files are still visible, but I don't, you know, I have two versions. I have both the illustrator file and the shape layer file. One thing that I wanted to mention, if you're working with Illustrator files and you don't want to convert them to shape layers, you want to make sure to click this rasterize buttons right here that look like a little star. So it's really important. It doesn't work on the shape layer because shape layer is already rasterized, but if you are working with Illustrator files and you don't want to convert them, you want to make sure to click these three styles so when you enlarge the layers, they don't pixelate. One other thing that I wanted to mention as well, the format of this, um, well, the, the size of your video is uh, not the correct size for viewing on a you know, computer monitor or television set, because as you could see, this is a vertical document. And we are, when you're working on a computer uh, or when we're making animation to be projected on a TV, we're basically the format is horizontal. So we kind of need to make certain adjustments. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Go to composition setting or command K or control K if you're working on a PC. And, um, this is basically the size that I have here. So there's a couple of different ways that I can uh, uh, complete my animation. One is um, that I could leave the settings as it is and animate however I wish to animate. And um, this composition is basically, th th it's, um, 
the finalized animation for project one is about 30 seconds. So what you could do is to uh, break the animation down, just like we did with uh, the mannequin exercise and create maybe three 10 second uh, smaller animations just to kind of break down the, you know, just break the, your storyboard down and make it easier to um, control different elements on your page and also to kind of, you know, it's much easier to add complexity when you're uh, working with smaller chunks of animation. And then once you have the, your three ten seconds, you can make one finalized comp at the correct size, which is should be horizontal, uh, and then uh, add the three comps, just like we did with the mannequin exercise, add the three comps into that one finalized comp. So for now, I'm gonna just leave this as it is. And one thing that I wanted to also mention is that remember that you can animate however you wanna, you know, you want you can you know change the scale change the opacity change the position and so on however the finalized finalized animation has to be like exactly like the poster so i'm going to show you how you can do that so we're going to select and i'm just going to show the a position change so we want to click the first layer shift select uh, the layers and Press P for position. Make sure your um, time indicator is a big in the beginning of your animation. And I'm just gonna keyframe the position that I have here. Now, I'm gonna highlight these three keyframes. I'm going to move them to the very end of my composition. Now, I'm gonna come make sure again my keyframe, my time indicator is in the beginning of my comp, and I'm going to uh, keyframe it, um, them again, and maybe I'll just move, move, uh, oops, move each one maybe over here, oops, maybe over here. Maybe over here. And actually, let me just show you under preferences, under um, display. You want to make sure um, all keyframes, motion path, all keyframes are selected. So you can kind of see the path of each. Um, so now that I have these three keyframes, you'll see that, you know, I can add other attributes. Again, if you want to um, add another animation, you can just sort of use these uh, arrows to make sure if you want to go to like previous keyframe or next keyframe and so on, you want to use these arrows that are a lot more effective. Uh, okay, so I have that one. And then again, if you highlight your three layers and uh, I um, P, if you hit P, you can change the position. If you hit R, you can hit the rotation. And for this one, I'm gonna maybe, I don't know, just add a little bit of a rotation, maybe right there, maybe a couple. Actually for this first one, Maybe I'll just keyframe them by itself for now. Um, and then if you have all the items highlighted, um, then you just click the, you know, the, the stopwatch on one of them and basically they're all going to get keyframed. Now I'm going to move to a different place in time and change the rotation maybe to like three or something like that. As you could see, I'm going to get rotation and then I'm going to get position change. And then at the very end, everything comes together. Of course, you want to make sure the animation is a lot more complex 
You can also change the size. Again, if I want to go and highlight the three, S would stand for scale. I could simply, again, you want to make sure if you're changing each of these attributes, the last keyframe needs to, um, you know, like if I make it, if I make this really big right now, um, the end result is going to be rather large. So I want to make sure that, um, so I have the scale at 100%. And at this point, you want to grab those keyframes again, move it to the very, very end of your animation. So it's kind of almost flipped. And then we come back to the beginning, maybe somewhere in the middle, actually. And then I can just do like 500 or whatever. And maybe in the beginning, so you can just um, you have the rotation. Then you have the scale change. And then at the very end, again, you see that everything ends up in a, the finalized uh, artwork position and size and so on. So once we have that, let's say you're happy with this, whatever animation you're creating, you want to make a new comp. And again, this one, we want to make sure to choose the correct uh, ratio seven twenty, and this time I'm going to make sure this is 30 seconds so now all I have to do I didn't want to name it so that you know you know what exactly you're doing project 01 um, round 01 1280 so you know the size and then um, so this is the animation we kind of created. I'm going to double click my layer and grab this animation in here. And again, you can see that, um, you know, then at this point you can possibly make this bigger, make it smaller. And if you have other, remember this is only 10 seconds. Maybe you have three other segments of your storyboard uh, that you, then you end up adding, you know, um, to you know what you're doing here and um also one other thing i want to quickly show you is um <clears throat> yeah just making sure your um name you're naming your layers correctly so here it would be project 01 round one uh, 10 seg, right? Um, and then, or it just probably want to be comp one, but just remember, you're probably going to have like three comps. And also, just wanted to show you that if you open up this folder, the tracing to folder, you'll see the individual uh, illustrator layer saved out for you. Um, so, this is how you trace a layer in Illustrator and you bring your files into After Effects individually and um, anim you animating them according to your selected artwork.